Okay, y'all, I think I finally figured this one out. This is one of those things I've been searching and hoping somebody made a YouTube video for years. And I would give up and do it the hard way. And I finally, I think I finally figured out a way to do it the easy way. Let me let me show you what, I, what I'm working with. I've always loved this trick where you can use a vertex map to control a bunch of things. And and uh, now that vertex maps have you know fields and all this stuff, it makes it real easy to use it for cloth and also for blending between two materials. Now the problem was, it was always really difficult to blend between two materials that both had displacement on them. And you could set this up kind of the hard way by going into any material you wanted to do this with and bringing in a vertex map and uh, setting it all up and, you know, swapping out, you know, for uh, an alpha for each one. Um, but it, the issue was if I wanted to then switch materials and just try a new material like I always like doing, you, you couldn't do it. You had to go rebuild it for any material you wanted to use it with. Um, but. I think I found out a way to just build a simple little material blender rig, drag in any material into it, and it just works and also respects displacement with both of them. Now, you may have figured this one out already, but you didn't make a YouTube video about it, okay? So <laughs> I'm going to make it just in case anybody else uh, is looking for this. So here's the setup. Um, oh, oh, and by the way, Nick, if you're like Nick, uh, what the heck are you talking about? I have an NAB presentation uh, all about setting up vertex maps and using them for cloth and all that stuff. Um, we'll link it up down below. Okay, so here's what's going on. This rig allows me to drag and drop any mater two materials into it that have displacement and it just works. Um, here's what it looks like. I just added a new Redshift material, open it up and started adding these nodes. So you can do a quick screenshot here if you know what you're doing with nodes. Um, but uh, let me get into a little bit more detail. So first, we have uh, two reference nodes uh, that are referencing the two materials. And if you're familiar with this, uh, with nodes, let me just cut to the chase here and say displacement. Right here, if you open uh, the first re reference node, you'll see that it's a surface node. That's the default. What I didn't know is that you can... Um, change this to displacement and it will pull the displacement out from this material and bring it into a new material. This is all I needed. <laughs> so uh, if that makes sense to you, go make it. Um, and uh, if not, let me show you a little bit more detail. So we essentially have two copies of the same reference. And all I did was um, you could select both of them and just drag in any material right here. Okay. And it will automatically switch. Okay. So we could just choose pink swirl. And now this one will also be displaced and it will respect both of them uh, together. Okay. Uh, the second material is down here. And again, if you would just want to uh, change it, we could select both and change that. Now the top two references are the surface references. Those go into a material blender. And then of course, we're using a vertex node with the vertex map that we created up here uh, when we created it for the cloth and all that. Again, follow the NAB tutorial. There's other tutorials out there to show you how to use vertex maps. Okay, now that we have that set up, um, by the way, that's as far as I got before. <laughs> now that I realize you can add a displacement uh, as your source, all I did was duplicate the two references um, put the same material in both on the top and bottom, feed both of those into a displacement blender, and also use uh, a vertex map uh, to drive the blend weight and put that into displacement. Okay, that's essentially the rig. Now, I added one more little piece of complication here that allows me to dial up or down the, uh, the displacement of the second material. Okay, so maybe your first displacement, um, is like like we had it before, it was that big red tube thing. This thing's awesome. So uh, th if it was a big chunky displacement and then this secondary one was something more like a, a cloth, let's go do that. Um, all right, boom. Now, this is too much displacement for uh, this material. How do you drive it? Well, that's where this rig comes in. Okay, so... All this does is convert a vertex map into a ramp, allows me to create a, a color layer, 
and I just pump the ramp into the top. And then all this does is, I think it multiplies, yeah. So all this does is multiply on top of the other one, which allows me to essentially turn up and down the amount of displacement. So if I turn it all the way up, you're gonna see no displacement. And as I back it out, we're gonna start to see like these little seams pop up and we could dial it in perfect, there we go, okay? So this just gives me more control between the two of them. And now that this is set up, uh, I, I don't have to build this from scratch with every material I wanna try. I just literally say, um, you know, I could drag and drop un until I get a new look every time. So if I wanna try a green abstract, I could pull this in, okay? And all right, that one's pretty cool. It's got little blobs on it. And again, you can turn this up and down using the redshift um, uh, displacement. And all of these materials, you, obviously you need a material that has displacement built into it. Um, and a ton of our latest materials have that. So uh, all of these actually are from the colorful abstract materials collection in studio. So uh, if you have studio, you can just pull these right in. But so many of our materials have displacement built in uh, and you can just uh, send it over. Let's send this one over into cinema and uh, we can literally drag and drop it. So let's select that one. Let's pull this in and boom. Dude, we got all these little craters. Let's say we want this to be a little bit more. Let's go to 0.6 which means we'll have to dial back the cloth, or actually let's switch the cloth one more, and then we'll get out of here. Let's try, um, I don't know, peach, lumpy. That sounds gross, love it. Oh my God, so gross. All right, so this one I want more displacement, so I'm gonna turn this down, and I want, I want more lumps. Too many lumps, too many lumps. Let's back it out. See, it, it, when it overlaps like that, I wanna back it off a little bit. A little bit less. Now we're talking, folks. All right, uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, I'll try to make this one quick. Let me know if you have any questions or if I went too fast or missed anything here. Um, I'll, I'll try to add it in the comments, but uh, hopefully that helps if you're trying to get this look. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you in the next one.